Oh, hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Ow! Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please hit that subscribe. Hit that bell button so you can get the notifications. Hit those likes. And I appreciate if you share. Okay, I thank you for joining me. This is going to be um, what's coming up for 2024. I'm going to give you one card for each sign. Each solar sign is going to get a card for um, the psychic cards. I know you guys have seen these before. If you've seen it, if you haven't, then these are the psychic cards that I give um, a lot of message, a lot of messages. Um, but every every sign is going to get one card from me, and I just want to know what's all. Oh, I'd like to give you a message that was coming up for the new year. Okay? If you're joining me from TikTok, I appreciate it. It's the same name, Quavo Tarot. Feel free to join me there um, and share whoever you feel that will resonate or would like to hear these type of messages. Okay? So we're going to clear the negative energy around us first. Nice. And it's not going to be like a lot. It's just going to be one card and I'm just going to see real message real quick. Okay? Because it's a lot of signs. Um, so I'm going to ask my beautiful guys to please bless and protect the space. I ask that you ensure only trustworthy answers come from the divine through these cards. I ask that you let me see, hear feel and know the messages you have for my wolf pack and i ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved so it is so be it okay let's see what messages for my beautiful aries what's what was coming up for the new year what is coming up for the new year please and thank you what is coming up for the new year for aries for aries please and thank you what message you have for aries what is coming up for the new year for Aries? Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, you got two of them. Okay, mental conflict and transformation. So right now, what I pick up here is that things are going to be changing on how you think. Um, or maybe thinking all the conflicts that you've had now this year or, or struggles that you had this year is going to be a transformation for a new year. Maybe is um, showing your true self because a mask here is she's holding a mask, meaning taking it off. Um, also transformation is the way you think maybe that's what you need to do for this new year is to think different to um, get out of your head a lot and um, to transform things in your life that are not serving you at this point right um, but also I see is that you yes you're always in your head you are you're this type of areas that you're always thinking thinking you're always you overthink but this new year like I said is transformations for you I just see beautiful things and things that are going to change for you Okay, so I hope you get that, and I hope you resonate with this, all right? And I hope it brings you many blessings, all right? So love and light, Aries. Okay, we're going now with Taurus. Let's see what you have here for my beautiful Taurus. One message for the new year for Taurus. Please and thank you. One message for Taurus. Please and thank you. We're trying to move along. Okay, let's see what message you have here for Taurus. Please and thank you. message you have here for Taurus for the new year. What's coming up for Taurus for the new year? Please and thank you. What's coming up for Taurus for the new year? Please and thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't know which one it is. So this one is sticky now and I believe we'll take that one, okay? Third eye chakra. Taurus. It just means waking up. It means waking up. Seeing things clearly now. Okay, the third eye chakra means opening your eyes more than what you are seeing now. There's things that maybe you're not seeing, things that you're not realizing, this, that you didn't realize this year. Now the new year is coming up. It's things that you need to like step back and look. Look at the picture. Look at the big picture and see things for what it is and things that you are doing. Okay, things that you need to, um, again, realize. Okay, see and realize when I, the um, chakras come out. I always give another one because I want to get a clarification for this one, please. When is the regular message like I always call it? Then I just do it like that. But when is a chakra? I always get uh, another one. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry, it fell on the side. So since it fell on the side and I didn't see it, I don't pick it up. I put it back, and if it's yours. And it comes back up. So again, please and thank you. Why is the third eye chakra here for Taurus? Why is the third eye chakra here for Taurus? Please and thank you. Okay, look, power. 
they're not saying like opening your your opening your eyes now to better things um opening your eyes to more um knowing your worth knowing your power um also to get back your power because i feel that some taurus this year probably lost a lot of power again you probably had your eyes closed and you know or, or you didn't see a lot of things that were weren't meant for you or weren't beneficial so now you're getting your power back this year all right that's the step up okay taurus so i hope that resonates with you love and light okay let's go with gemini now let's see what message you have here for gemini please and thank you when you hear the little clicks, it's because I need to pause it to change the name, um, to change the, the little cards that I have here. Okay. Here we go. What message you have here for Gemini? Please and thank you. What message you have here for Gemini? Please and thank you for this new year coming up. What message you have for Gemini? Please and thank you. Oh, awareness. Okay, Gemini, awareness, again, awakening, opening things up, like like thinking different, starting all over again, okay, because the number one means a beginning, starting new, starting fresh, but now here is more, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of yourself more, and being aware of everyone around you, because um, a lot of people are fake in life, so you have to be aware of everything around you, especially, I feel that this is more with yourself. Okay, being aware of who you are, what you are, and what you could be, um, the power you have, okay? And also um, opening that up, opening your mind up for things, for, for different things or better things in your life. For this new year coming up, Gemini, if you've been struggling this year, then your awareness is to do different for the new year, okay? So I hope that resonates with you. Love and light. Okay, Cancer. Let's go with Cancer. Let's see what message you have here for Cancer, please, and thank you. Beautiful Cancer. Let's see what message you have here for Cancer. People, please and thank you. What message you have here for Cancer? Let's see what message for Cancer for the new year? Please and thank you. What message for Cancer for the new year? Please and thank you. What message? Oh, there it is. Oh, Cancer. Intuition. Intuition is learning more. Um, knowing truth about everything truth about people truth about yourself but intuition is learning more like learning now more um, there's a shield here so I just feel like it's more to protect yourself about people places and things doors that have closed this year new doors are about to open for you because as you can see all the door looks like it's closed there's sh light shining coming out of it because it's slightly opening so new things now are opening for you cancer for this new year but the intuition just means that go at it with a smart not a smart but like a like a more intuitive um you know um mindset like going in you know knowing that is that you know what you're doing and you put you protect yourself at all time okay so new doors are opening for you cancer again if this year was not good for you even if it was good but this doors that are closing maybe things that you did good now they're closing and new beautiful things are coming up but if things that were bad this year guess what all of that is doors closed and beautiful new things are coming for you this year okay so that's for you cancer i hope it resonates love and light okay let's go with leo let's go with leo let's see what message you have here for leo please and thank you what message sorry i mean i think i need to shuffle one more a couple of more what message you have here please and thank you for leo <clears throat> what message you have here for leo for the new year please and thank you what message you have here for leo for the new year please and thank you what? Uh oh okay all right leo it says trapped in fear okay trapped in fear for the new year just means that whatever you've been doing this year whatever's been going on this year you're still going to be trapped next year if you don't let go of certain things you see how desperate he looks in the head and everything maybe it's a lot of things in your head that you overthink and that you overdo it's trying to let telling you to let go of those things okay it's telling you to let go stop being so trapped you the trap the trapment that you have in fear the trapment <laughs> the trap that you feel and that you fear because maybe you don't move on to your true self or things that are for your true self 
you know you're probably worried about a lot of people of judging you or a lot of people um, telling you what to do or a lot of people you ha you have nowhere to go you have nothing you feel you, you can't do things right because you feel in your head all the time you're in your head you're in your 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 mental state all the time but trapped in fear no we don't do those and then what happens is here you're going to be trapped like this okay your mind is trapped in a cell so maybe for the new year is to let go of those things to you know to be feel free feel free to not feel so trapped in that in fear of what whatever fear you have remember the most um, um worst thing that you could have is the fear we fear fear so maybe that's um, something is telling you to like break those chains break this cell and just move on move on with things move on with yourself move on with it um if relationships haven't worked this year or, or work hasn't worked this year people places and things have not worked for you this year untrap yourself get out of this cell especially in your head Leo. and you try to move on to better things because if not you're going to still be trapped in fear okay for the new year all right so i hope this resonates with you love and light now let's go to Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. My beautiful Virgos. Let's see what message you have here for my Virgo. What message you have here for my Virgo for the new year. Please and thank you. What message you have here for my Virgo. Please and thank you. What message you have here for my Virgo. Please and thank you for the new year. What message you have here for my Virgo? Ooh, Virgo. Let's do this. Triumph and success. You're starting all over again with not all over meaning, but it's going to be everything new, everything that you've been working on, every cloudy days that you've had, everything that does not benefit you, that hasn't, that has had you down, depressed, um, didn't work out, whether it's relationship, work, friendships, whatever that means. Look at this blue skies coming okay the number one means the beginning start of, of everything and then everything you're gonna have is gonna be a triumphant success okay whatever your endeavors are whatever you're going into um, it's gonna be triumphant so maybe it's not to fear every work that you've done this whole year the work the put the work that you put in this year is going to be triumphant for this new year coming up so keep at it okay Virgo keep at it don't give up so I hope this resonates with you. Also, there is to protect yourself and also is knowing the truth about things and speaking your truth. Okay, so you will always be triumphant. All right, so I hope this resonates with you. Love and light. Okay, let's go with Libra. Woo -woo, my fellow Libras. Let's see what message they have here for you. My beautiful, beautiful Libras. Let's see what message they have here for you for the new year. For Libra, please and thank you. What message you have here for my Libra for the new year? The message you have here for my Libra for the new year. Please and thank you. Okay, here we go. What message for the new year you have for Libra? Please and thank you. What message you have for the new year for Libra? Please and thank you. Whoa. <laughs> that one just flew. And look what it says. Positive movement forward. Yes, leave all baggage behind, Libra. You see how you're sailing away, feeling free? There's a bird there going to the sun. Whatever dark things you had this year, whatever places, people, things, whatever you had this year that trapped you or maybe you feel you felt bad with it or you felt or they didn't make you feel good or they didn't make you feel you're worth it, guess what? You're moving forward positively. You're leaving all of that stuff behind. Okay, again, positive movement forward. And I think that's not... This is the clearest card I've had in this whole deck, okay? Because it, it, it just says this, it says it all in one shot. Look at it, okay? Sailing away, the bird is there feeling free, feeling free, even if it's with yourself because there is a person, one there. So starting up, starting out, starting out, whatever. You could always start fresh. You could always start new believer, okay? So positive movement forward for the new year. So I hope this resonates with you. Love and light. Okay, let's go with Scorpio now. All right, Scorpio. I ask that this reading always brings blessings for everyone. This is the half. We're already in the half of the signs. Or past the half of the signs. Let's see what message you have here for my beautiful Scorpio. 
for the new year please and thank you what message you have here for my scorpio for the new year please and thank you i love these cards i'm telling you what message you have here for my wolf pack scorpios for scorpio for this new year oh you got two of them on top of each other wow look first you got wisdom you see wisdom and what you're going into new whatever you're going into this year is either you've learned more this year um going more into the new year more wise right um learning not only probably learning about yourself but learning about situations learning about your know, family learning like i i feel like you're going to pick up something new or you're going to be doing something new this year it could be in, in um in a business or it could be in, um educational right like like school or something like that but i just feel like you learn more you've learned this year you've you've got tired of a lot of things that you that was not good for you this year right so going into the new year is you're going in a little more wise and then this one is recognition and rewards so you're going to be recognized for what all the hard work that you've going to be put you're going to put on or maybe you're going to put on the all the hard work that you've put this year going into the new year you're going to be recognized and rewarded well, again wisdom okay so whatever you're going into is going to be fresh it's going to be new and it's going to feel like all this hard work that you put in all this time because look how it looks there you see how he feels like oh my god I've, i did it i got there and i've been recognized now and i'm getting my rewards right whether it's from the universe or financially fit you know all of that you're gonna get all of that this year coming up scorpio so again going into go into it a little more wise because that way you already know what you're doing you already know you're a smart person um i don't know why i keep rambling but i just feel that this is more towards going into whatever you did this year you're going to be recognized now for the new year okay so i hope this resonates with you scorpio love and light okay let's go with sagittarius sagittarius please and thank you what message you have here for sagittarius please and thank you what message you have here for sagittarius please and thank you message for the new year for Sagittarius a message for the new year please and thank you for Sagittarius a message for the new year saying thank you okay you got two of them just like Scorpio oh a name reverse okay it says they in reverse they always say to pay attention more I don't like to do the verse reverses but it says pay attention more to when they're reverse it says solitude and heart heartache and loss okay Sagittarius so it probably just means now is that there's no more solitude the heartbreak and loss you had you're gonna get over that this new year whatever happened this year that you it could be heartbreak with anything solitude maybe you're again you're not gonna be alone this year if you are alone or you or you felt alone and whatever heartbreak or whatever things heartbreak and loss in reverse so again I just feel like whatever you lost and whatever heartbreak you had this year um, for it could be work, people, whatever, places, things, whatever. Um, it's not being alone in now for this new year. Not being alone, getting rid of all that heartbreak. There's not going to be any more heartbreak for you. And if it is, then just, you know, I, I hope not. But if it is, it's just learning from it and just pass it. Pass it and let it go. Okay? So, this is for you, Sagittarius. And I hope it resonates with you. Love and light. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what yours is. Let's see what message you have here for my beautiful Capricorn for the new year. Let's see what you have here for Capricorn for the new year. Please and thank you. What message you have here for Capricorn? Please and thank you for the new year. What message you have? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This one fell here. The other one fell on the floor. Put it on top of here and if i feel that it resonates with this card i will give it to you but you know i don't like to take the ones from the floor unless i see them and i didn't see that one so capricorn you got the crown chakra but it's in reverse so it's this is mostly that to take care of yourself be careful on how you think or what you think about to be in your head too much all right um crown chakra also means like the, the whole your whole body like taking care of yourself physically um, emotionally mentally right and also um, just know that you're worth that you are in a high level right now Capricorn okay cuz crown just is just crown yourself 
know that you are king or queen of, of who you are especially your body so since it's the chakra and I always pick another card for when it comes to the chakra and look what I said I will pick it up and this prosperity begins of course of course balancing it out everything new because it's the number one planting that seed again putting on that crown and let it grow there's things that are going to grow now for this new year Capricorn lovely things beautiful things nourishment nourishing yourself nourishing your mind also especially okay so i hope this resonates with you capricorn love and light okay aquarius let's go with aquarius now what message you have here for my beautiful aquarius what message you have here for my beautiful aquarius aquarius okay let's go what message you have here please and thank you Aquarius, what message you have here for Aquarius? Please and thank you. What message? Okay. Aquarius, you got, oh, triumph and success. This is the second card that came out out of the whole zodiac signs. Um, success for you, okay? I think that I don't need to say anything more about that. It's more of cloudy times and cloudy days that you had this year. Guess what? blue skies are coming for you this new year triumph triumph and success learning more having the truth knowing the truth about yourself knowing the truth about everything of everybody but also this is just i can't say any more about this card it's just beautiful success is coming for you for this new year okay aquarius just put the work in all right so i hope this resonates with you love and light okay we have last but not least Pisces, let's see what last message, what message you have here for Pisces, please and thank you. What message for the new year for Pisces, please and thank you. What message for Pisces, please and thank you for the new year. What message you have here for Pisces, please and thank you for the new year. What message you have here for Pisces, please and thank you for the new year. One message, please, and thank you. For Pisces, one message you have here for Pisces, please, and thank you. For this new year coming up, let's go. Who are you thinking about that one, okay? The message you have, oh, okay. All right, you have emotional withdrawal. Okay, Pisces, so whatever you've been going through this year, whatever you've been um, dealing with, all these waves these things that go up and down like waves right um emotional withdrawal could just mean that you're stepping away from a lot of things here that are not benefiting you this year from this year um people places or things right um try try to rest all right try to rest emotionally mentally um even physically okay but emotional withdrawal is just that you're not having it anymore. This year you decided to um, you hold on to your emotions, not let everything be so emotional, not showing you know your vulnerability to people that always mess with you, that always try to like take advantage. We're not doing those this year, okay? So emotional withdrawal is for you, Pisces, for you to take time to rest, let these waves just go away, right? And um whatever your endeavors or you're going into this new year go at it now without that emotional um you know because pisces are very emotional you know as a water sign so they're very emotional so maybe this just means to wash off all of that right this wave came here and it's gonna go so wash away all of those emotional things that you had this year people like i said people places the things that have hurt you and just withdraw from all that okay and be mentally ready for this new year pisces all right, so love and light, and I hope this resonates with you. All right, so I want to say thank you to the ones that watched, whoever's been watching, especially a cross watcher. Which, if let's say you're a Libra and you're and you're listening to Pisces, because the person you're dealing with is a Pisces, I hope these messages get to to you and to them. All right, so again, thank you all for watching. I hope again for the new year, everything brings you prosperity and triumphant success, like the card says. So take care now, love and light. Ow! Bye bye.